Hi, I'm Peter and welcome back to the History and Sabre Suites, the channel where I talk about Hema, history and swords. Now, first off, I'm sorry I have not been as active lately. That's because I just started a new job on the first of the month and I'm also currently in the process of finishing my thesis for university, which occupies quite a lot of my time right now. So, nevertheless, I thought now is a good time to make this video and it's about this saber that I promised to make a video about. It's the same one, the M1869 Cavalry Officer's saber that I showed in my dedicated video on the pattern uh, one or two videos ago. Just watch that if you haven't. I talk about the pattern itself and the trooper's version in detail. And uh, for contrasting purposes, I also showed this officer's version here, uh, which I'm going to talk about now as well, because it has a Little surprise, when I first took it out of the scabbard, let's show you, it has a rounded off, rounded off tip. And in fact, it's not rounded off, but it was made that way. And I can demonstrate that by holding the scabbard up to the point where it would usually meet the guard, as you can see. And running along the blade, you can see that the point actually goes right to the end of the scabbard, which means that if this were made with a point, it wouldn't fit the scabbard anymore. So I'm 100% sure that this was made uh, rounded off, which is quite interesting. And um, at first, it led me to the belief that this might have been a special commission of an officer uh, who wanted a fencing saber according to the regulation sword. But alas, it's not. Um, and I just asked a fellow collector who very kindly um, told me that this is in fact a dress sword, just a small and light dress version of the cavalry officer's saber, which is quite interesting because it's so small and so light that it really fits, you know, um, the weight and general stats of a fencing saber of the period. And it's 572 grams which is really light. And considering that the Troopers one that I showed you in the previous video uh, was approaching a kilo. So the one I had was uh, just under one kilogram. So just under a thousand grams. And this is just over half that, which makes it really, really light and even lighter than, you know, your usual infantry officer saber of the time, the M1861. So it's a really light and slender and slim, small variant of the cavalry officer saber. Now, for comparison, here's the infantry officer's saber, the M1861. And as you can see, the cavalry dress sword is even slimmer than that. And the blade length is comparable. Let's see if we can get that on camera. Yeah, it's comparable. But overall, the cavalry dress variant is lighter than the infantry officer's sword. So <laughs> there's that. Now, otherwise, it's completely regulation. It has the, you know, regulation floral decoration, the symmetrical guard with the slots up here, and it has a backstrap with ears that are in the right place. Um, it has the regulation type blade with the fuller on the outside or tear side and the flat cross section on the inside or cart side, and it has the rounded off tip which is quite interesting because usually there's the question, well, are dress swords real swords? And usually they are, um, uh, but this one was made without a point. So it's not really a functional sword for stabbing someone in that regard. And of course it's also blunt, which is quite interesting because this is really a dedicated dress sword. Nevertheless, and that's what I find interesting about these things always, is that it was still traditionally made. It has a very broad shoulder here um, at the guard, which tapers down quite quickly to around here. Let's just take some measurements. So the distal taper, it, it starts out at 7.2 millimeters here, and then it tapers to 5.8, only 10 centimeters up from the guard and then it tapers down to 4.1 around the middle of the blade, halfway along, and it goes down to 2.8 and 2.2 at the tip. 
So still very traditionally made. Also flexes in the right place, uh, two thirds up from the guard. So the temper is also springy and good. So even though it's a small dress saw, they still made them the same way as they would any other blade, which is good and quite interesting. And you could sharpen it up and use it as a weapon, but it was not made that way. Also, the guard is very slim. Uh, so the proportions are a bit squished, which makes it, which makes, makes it easier and more comfortable to wear, you know, on your hip. So this is really just a very, very slim and small uh, dress sword of the dress version of the M1869 Cavalry Officer's Sabre. Now, usually uh, you do get, uh, or let's say a good portion of M1869 Cavalry Officer's Sabres actually do use the regulation blade, uh, the same one the trooper, the trooper uses, so the very, very broad 36, 38 millimeter blade. So a good portion of Cavalry Officer's Sabres use the regulation trooper's blade, um, and another good portion use a similar blade, just a bit smaller, you know, um, maybe 28, 30 millimeters, um, just to make it a bit lighter and more comfortable to wear, um, but still very functional. So yeah, some even have a fuller on each side because that, you know, um, varied blade types could vary a bit. But this one is really pushing uh, the limits here, I would say. <laughs> Uh, as what still counts as a cavalry saber. Um, alas, it uh, conforms to the regulation, so it would have been fine to wear this. But yeah, as a cavalry saber, it's not really a cavalry saber in the classic sense. Now, even the scabbard has all the right features, you know, the fixed ring up top and the side ring um, here near the mouthpiece. And if I put it back in the scabbard, can see, ta-da, M1869 Cavalry Officer Sabre, just tiny. <laughs> now, um, I just wanted to show you this piece because it's very interesting and a lovely, lovely piece, actually. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to this one at least for a while. I'm not gonna sell it immediately. And yeah, I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, stay tuned for more. It's on the way. And on that note, please subscribe so you're not missing out on that future content. And also please follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me over there. Now, thank you so much again and see you in the next one. Bye bye.